Hello, everyone. I'm Mike from Comic Book Fans. And I'm Luke from Casual Experts. And yeah, um, the other night, stinking Marvel just dropped a bunch of mm-hmm. a bunch of news, like out of nowhere. Like like you said earlier, it's probably like it, it was the inv- investors meeting or something. And they said to just drop it all on Twitter. So mm-hmm. that's basically what we're gonna do. We're just gonna be talking about all of the all of the doozies they dropped the other night. So they released a few different trailers for yeah. the most you know upcoming shows that are going to come out the soonest so first of all wandavision that's coming out january 15th yeah and that that trailer dropped um they also dropped a trailer for falcon and the winter soldier which is coming out Mm -hmm. on march 19th which i'm guessing pretty much as soon as right wandavision is over they're gonna have falcon the winter soldier and then they also dropped a little trailer for loki which Mm -hmm. i don't know when that's coming out i think it said may on twitter did it oh no yep yep you're right it says yeah. may 2021 yep okay. so basically they're all back to back is what it so, looks like yeah that's what it seems like yeah and then they also dropped a little trailer for the ms marvel thing which mm-hmm. uh yeah fine it, it, it says it's coming late 2021 so probably fall okay also that what if animated series they they dropped a trailer for that which yeah. is coming out um summer 2021 have you, you gotten a chance to watch those trailers Yes, I saw them all back to back last night. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I did, I did too, because I did the vid- vid- video on it, which is on our channel. Be sure to check right. that. I I reacted to them and just kind of broke them down, or at least just kind of talked about them. But what what were your uh, initial thoughts, real real quick, on those those shows? Um, yeah, you you brought up in the in the Wandavision one how like yeah. they were going through like each of the generations of sitcoms and how. Yeah. I, it, I don't think they actually shot it on film, but it looks like it with like the aspect, aspect ratio and then the, the resolution as you brought up in your video. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really cool. And they go through all the different, um, I think they said they're going to be like an episode in each one, I think is what they said. I don't, rem- I don't recall. No, that uh, sounds, that sounds pretty cool. I mean, it makes most sense, yeah. I think. And then, they, then yeah. they're probably going to start revealing what's really going on. Right. Right. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's in January. Yeah. Uh, and then next would be the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That one's that one's pretty cool. Um, an interesting thing yeah. about that is uh, the U.S. agent. Yeah, um, that's gonna be an interesting storyline. Yeah, he's kind of uh, yeah, like like a like a B C tier character for Marvel. Yeah. In the early '90s, I think he was kind of a Captain America replacement. And so it's yeah. Really interesting to see what they do with him. And I know in the comics, he sort of became like darker Cap. Like he was a villain for a little while, but then he just sort yeah. of became like dark Captain America, kind of. Right. Right. Um. Yeah. And then with uh, that Loki series, that seems kind of interesting. It's basically like just time travel with Loki. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited. To, I really like Owen Wilson. I've been watching a lot yeah. of uh, Wes, Wes Anderson movies, and he's in a lot oh, of Oh, yeah, he's in a lot of I really like yeah. him a lot. <laughs> yeah, but that What If series does look kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, it is animated. Normally, I'm not like, like, I like animated stuff for sure, but it's not like as exciting to me as live action things. For sure, yeah. But that does look pretty cool, and I think mm-hmm. it makes the most sense for them to be able to do everything without having to bring back every single actor, every single set, stuff like that. Yeah, I was thinking about it. And from the trailer, it just seems like they're switching around characters. But I mean, I hope that Mm -hmm. they kind of go more into like crazy what if scenarios. I think they hopefully they're saving those for the actual show and they're not revealing anything in the trailer. But so that one looks pretty cool. The Ms. Mm -hmm. Marvel one, there's like a sizzle reel for that. Like, I'll be honest with you. I really don't care too much about Kamala Khan. Not that right. she's a bad character. I just, I don't know. She just never did much for me. I never really read any mm-hmm. of the comics, and I was like, wow, she's cool. I don't yeah. think her power is that interesting, considering she t- takes over from, you know, Carol Danvers, who's pretty powerful. Right. But and I think she can also, like, grow her limbs or something. Well, she basically has, like, M- Mr. Fantastic's power. She's basically, like, stretchy okay. and stuff. Yeah. And, and she's an inhuman, which does make it interesting that she's an inhuman. Oh, if they okay. bring that into the show, it could be interesting. The only thing mm-hmm. I find a little bit odd, like it's kind of nitpicky, I guess, but what I find a little bit odd is, I mean, it's accurate to the comics, so I can't complain too much, but in the show, Kamala Khan's like a huge fan of, you know, Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, and that's right. why, at least in, in the comics, that's why she takes the name Ms. Marvel, because Carol mm-hmm. used to be Ms. Marvel, and now right. she's kind of like taking over that mantle of, you know, her hero, mm-hmm. but for for one thing, in, in, in the movies, Carol was never known as Ms. Marvel, so it's kind right. of a weird name to for like a 16 year old girl to call herself but yeah. you know it, it, it's nit, it's nitpicking this the, the, the second little nitpick is like how is she a fan of captain marvel because like nobody knew about her 
right. until Avengers Endgame, which is supposed to be 2018. Then she helped them once to defeat Thanos, and then she, it seems like she just went off into space for the right. next five years. And then she mm-hmm. comes back for the final battle. So it's like maybe the last year, or it depends on like what when this takes place, if this takes place a couple years after Endgame or what, but like right. how is she like this much of an icon for people to be like into her at this point, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's a nitpick, but it is kind of like in the world they created, it is kind of weird. Right. But I'm sure they'll probably mm-hmm. find some way to pull it off, and if they don't, oh well. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really invested in that show at all anyway. <laughs> yeah. So moving on to some of the other news. Some of the other, like, movie news. So, I guess the first movie news they dropped was Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. They're saying it's going to come out March 25th, 2022, which is, like, a whole over a year away. And they just confirmed Rachel McAdams, right? Yes, right. Yeah. Yep, and then I'm going to butcher his name. Chiwetel Ejiofor or something like that. I, I, I guess. Uh-huh. But he's coming back as a uh, Baron Mordo, so he'll probably be okay. like at least a side villain, maybe, or maybe like yeah. some sort of antagonist. And then the cast, Zochitl Gomez, if that's how you, how you say her name, I've never heard of her, but as America mm-hmm. Chavez. I don't know who, a whole lot about America Chavez, but I know she's a character in the comics, but obviously. Sure. Sure. Uh, and, and then we, we know for a while it's going to be d- directed by Sam Raimi, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that'll and be fun. Yeah, and it and it's gonna tie directly to Wandavision and the next Spider Man film. So it seems like Wandavision's gonna like introduce something we don't know yet. Maybe the right. villain, Possibly I don't know. The villain, yeah. And then the next Spider Man film I think is gonna in- introduce the multiverse. Mm-hmm. Because we know Doctor Strange is going to be in that. And then I think that's going to lead right. into the Multiverse of Madness, which is going to be just like multiverse galore, I guess. Mm-hmm. You right. know, so if Spider-Man, if the Spider-Man film is going to be as crazy as it sounds, I bet the Doctor Strange one is going to be pretty crazy, too. Right. Another thing they confirmed was Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That's coming mm-hmm. out July 9th, 2021. They re- released the, like the official cast list, which we've kind of known for a while. We know Simu Liu it's shang chi and then tony lung mm-hmm. i thought i thought he was supposed to be mandarin but here they uh-huh. have him listed as wenwu so i'm guessing okay. that's I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be like a you know pseudonym or something for um the, the mandarin i'm i'm guessing because they, they made it pretty clear the mandarin's gonna be in it right and then right. A- a- aquafina is somebody named katie she's, she's probably just gonna be a comic relief character you know Right. Um, Menger Zhang, sorry if I'm butchering these names, <laughs> is going to be Xiling. Michelle Yo, she's been in a lot. She's going to be Jang Nan, and then Ronnie Chang, John Jong, Fela Chen, Jing Li, and Florian Matinu is going to be Razor Fist, which is like <laughs> probably like a D or E list like character. <laughs> I've hardly ever heard of Razor uh-huh. Fist. He's literally just a dude with razor, like swords for hands. But that seems cool. Like it has the potential mm-hmm. to be really cool. Like you know the MCU's first like martial arts film. Yeah, yeah. I think if sure. they bring in some elements like the less cheesy elements of like the mm-hmm. older like Bruce Lee movies and stuff, that'd be very cool yeah. to see. And if they have really cool fight choreography, that'd be very interesting. I don't know a whole lot about Shang Chi, but it could be an interesting story. And if they do something cool with the Mandarin and kind of explain, you know, what the heck happened right. in Stinking Iron Man Three with fake Mandarin, you know, mm-hmm. that would be kind of cool. Uh, another movie they announced, which they like they've announced this for a, w- a while ago, but. Captain Marvel 2. So that that's officially coming November 11th, 2022. Um, I, I don't know how to feel about this. So basically, so Brie, Brie Larson is returning, as, of, of course. Right. It's going to be it's going to be directed by Nia DaCosta, which I think she's she's di- 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 directed a few things recently. I think didn't she direct that new Candyman movie? Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Oh, wow. So she okay. she's di- 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 she's directed a few things. She, she seems to be kind of like a rising talent. In yeah, the movie, in movie industry, but she's the directing it, and then they're going to have m- the actress who plays Ms. Marvel. She's going to be in it, Iman Vellani, which makes that sense. Makes sense. Yeah. They're going to introduce her in the Ms. Marvel show, and then she's going to be in it. Which, yeah, it's a good idea. And yeah. then Monica Rambeau, which is definitely a good idea. Right. I thought it was kind of weird they made her a kid. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's '90s, but like, I-, I I don't know. Just Monica Rambeau, her character is a lot more interesting than they kind of made her in the movie. Right, Hopefully, they right. kind of re- redeem that in WandaVision mm-hmm. and Captain Marvel too. I don't know. It could be interesting, but I really don't care too much about this movie because the first one was just okay. I'm not super excited yeah. for this. I know, haven't in, seen it <laughs> in any way. It's yeah. maybe worth one view, but it's not yeah. great. The next little thing they mentioned, we, we already knew there was a She-Hulk film. I mean, not She-Hulk film, a She-Hulk series coming out. 
Right. And we knew that, or at least there was strong rumors that Tatiana Mislani was going to p- p- portray her. Mm-hmm. But in, but they just revealed that Tim Roth is going to be back as a, as Abomination from yeah. The Incredible Hulk, which is interesting. Yeah, for, for sure. Pretty, pretty cool. And then uh, Mark Ruffalo is going to be in it as Hulk mm-hmm. slash Bruce Banner. So that'll be interesting. I wonder if they're going to go the cousin route, you know, make her right. his cousin. And then it'll be mm-hmm. interesting to see Abomination back uh, because yeah. we haven't seen him for like, you know, 12 years at this point. And I wonder yeah. if it might kind of open up the door to like a Red Hulk storyline at some point. For sure, yeah. With, because, uh, yeah, it, it, exactly. So uh, there's no date for this, but it's directed by Kat Koiro and Anu Valia. Which I notice is interesting. Most mm-hmm. of these streaming service shows have a lot of directors. Right. Like, you know, all the Marvel Netflix shows, all the Netflix shows, most Hulu shows. Even mm-hmm. The Mandalorian has a bunch, like, right. pretty much every episode has a different director. But yeah, these series common. these series seem to have, like, two d- director teams that are just yeah. directing all the episodes. Mm-hmm. Which I think is that's interesting. Trying to make it feel more like a, just like a, a five-hour movie as opposed to separate episodes, I think is what they're trying yeah, to go for. Yeah, I think you're right because that's the feeling I'm getting from the trailers. It feels like just it feels like a movie. So right. I th- and I guess it's I suppose it makes sense because they don't want the quality of the shows to be different than the movies because right. then it, it wouldn't make that's one of the problems with with Agents of Shield is it was mm-hmm. so obvious the budget constraints with Agents of Shield like it's not a yeah. bad show necessarily it's just so obvious they couldn't do as much as the movies and so right. that kind of kind of took you out of it and made it feel not quite like it's part of the same universe mm-hmm. whereas keeping the same quality kind of keeps that continuity sort of you know right. at least in feeling. So then, we, so then for Moon Knight, they're, they're, they're just like, yeah, Moon Knight, an original series about a complex vigilante is coming to Disney+. Plus. They have, like, no information on it. So they haven't cast anybody. I don't. There's no directors lined up, which sucks because this is the one I'm most looking forward to. Because mm-hmm. I was kind of hoping for a Moon Knight movie, but now that they're doing a show, I'm definitely interested. It could be right. pretty cool. Now, this was a surprise. They're doing a Secret Invasion series. So right. a couple months back, there was, or at least a month back, there was a report that they were making a a, a, a series focusing on Nick Fury, mm-hmm. and that Ben Mendelsohn's Talos was going to be in it. But right. I kind of assumed it was going to be like a, it was going to be called like Fury or something. But apparently, this yeah. is Secret Invasion. So I'm guessing this is going to be based off or a continuation of where we saw Nick Fury at the end of Spider Man Far From Spider-Man. Home. Spider Man, yeah, where he's like up in you know space doing whatever. And um, with a bunch of scrolls. Yeah. The only problem with this is they basically negated the basis of Secret Invasion and Captain Marvel. Right, right. So, because the whole point of Secret Invasion is that the, the scrolls themselves overall are kind of an evil race, you know? They, 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 they yeah. of, of aliens. They, they go around to different planets mm-hmm. and pretend to be other people. You know, basically what they set the scrolls up to be at the beginning of Captain Marvel is really what they are. You know, in the right, Marvel right. universe, but then they made them like refugees or something. They just mm-hmm. like what, like it didn't really. Yeah. <laughs> that was that, another that... thing that's yeah. that's I'm kind of not upset about, but I'm uh, cautious about is that everyone thought that the next Avengers movie was going to be Secret Invasion, like it's yeah. going to be like a big crossover thing, but instead they just made it a Nick Fury show. Yeah, so, that's something too. Yeah. Like I think that that kind of yeah, you're right. That that kind of sucks because the whole point of Secret Invasion and it was was that in the comics it was like an Avengers event. Right. It wasn't so. This seems like it's basically going to be Nick Fury and I guess Talos, like mm-hmm. discovering Secret Invasion and maybe fighting it. I don't know. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to have only right. Nick Fury and Talos. And obviously, T- Talos is a good scroll. So I'm guessing they're going to yeah. have something where, like, oh, but there's actually these bad scrolls, you know? Right. Yeah, which I guess is a decent way to salvage what they have, what happened in Captain Marvel. Like, it's better than nothing. Yeah. But like you said, I don't see how it's gonna be how it's gonna work as a series with Nick Fury as the lead, unless yeah. they have the whole series and then that opens the door to like the next Avengers film, which is like right. directly tied to that, you know. But you know, I have no idea. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. The next, the ne- next thing is Ironheart, which I kind of heard rumors that this is gonna happen, but um, yeah. again, it, she's a newer character, so. D- Dominique Thorne, they already cast somebody. Dominique Thorne is a genius in- inventor, Riri Williams in Ironheart, right. an original series about the creator of the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man. So yeah, mm-hmm. she's one of those newer characters that I just haven't read much about. Kind of kind of like Kamala Khan. Like I, I right. kind of feel like they made her for the newer generation of you know like mm-hmm. younger, probably you know like ten and 
10 to 14 year olds that i'm like you know i just i don't have anything against the character i just don't know anything about her like and Mm -hmm. there's nothing about her that you know makes me want to read her comics so Right. You know, I just don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> see, you know, yeah. yeah, like I care more, much more about the more classic characters and seeing more with them. So, I, mm-hmm. like, I don't have a problem with these newer characters at all. I just don't really care <laughs> yeah. either. Either yeah, way, like, I'll time. I'll check it out. And if the trailer if the trailer looks good, I might get hyped for it. But you sure. know, they might have t- Robert Downey Jr. come back as like a hologram. Sure. Like they, yeah. they they did that in the actual Iron Heart comics another series they I mean they announced so many freaking series they, they did it with star wars too they announced like six different series yeah but apparently there's a series coming out there that's called armor wars mm-hmm. um it's basically it seems like war machine is the main character yes the, the don Cheadle is gonna be roadie he's gonna be war machine uh it's basically a classic marvel story about tony stark's worst fear coming true what happens when his tech falls into the wrong hands so there, there was a whole storyline about this in the comics. I think it was like in the eighties. Yeah. Where like, you know, Hammer, Justin Hammer, a bunch of other people, found um, Iron Man's armor and other stuff, and they basically started making weapons out of it and mm-hmm. selling it to terrorists and everything. Yeah. So Iron Man went around for like you know a whole year or two, just going around finding these things and finding his stolen tech and destroying it. So I'm guessing they're kind of adapting that, but instead of Tony doing it, they're going to be mm-hmm. having the War Machine doing it, yeah. which is interesting. Like I, I like War Machine. It, it'd, be, it'd be cool to see him right. take the spotlight more. Mm-hmm. And Don Cheadle, a strong actor, I'm sure it'll work well, and it'll be cool to see more kind of Iron Man like armor action. Right. Here's some two bits of weird news here. So mm-hmm. they're apparently making a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Yeah, I saw and that. And James Gunn is like <laughs> right direct. This is obviously supposed to be like the Star Wars holiday special. Right. I'm sure this is a nod to that, but that's gonna be weird. I I I feel like they're doing it, you know, sort of as a in between now and Guardians of the Galaxy three because that's not right. gonna come out for a long time because James Gunn just finished working on Suicide Squad. Yeah. So it's, not, it's probably not gonna be until like 2024. Right, that, that one comes out. So I'm, I'm sure they're they're doing that to kind of be like, well, they're still here. This is this is what mm-hmm. they're doing in, in between. So mm-hmm. we don't kind of forget about them before the sequel, you know. Right, right. Another weird thing. Apparently, they're making a animated series. I think. Uh, yeah, with Baby Groot. Baby Groot, yeah. Actually, they 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 don't say it's animated, but they say everyone's favorite little little tree, Baby Groot, will star in a series of shorts on Disney Plus featuring several new and unusual characters. I Am Groot, an original series from Marvel Studios, is coming to Disney+. Plus. So mm-hmm. I'm guessing this takes place b- before he becomes like a teenager, you know? Right. So here's some more movie news. So we, we knew Thor Love and Thunder is coming, coming out. Mm-hmm. It's coming out on May 6, 2022. Ta- yeah. Taika Waititi is coming Taka back. Taika Waititi, yeah. And Christian Bale, we that, it had been rumored for a long time that he was joining the cast, but they finally revealed who he's playing. He's playing the villain Gore the God Butcher. Yeah. So apparently he yeah he he basically kills gods. No. He's yeah. a pretty like cre- he's definitely the more creepy kind of villain that we've seen in the mm-hmm. MCU. So yeah. I wonder if they're going to adapt him that like scary looking. I haven't read much about him at all, but he Yeah, pretty he's one much, of the newer newer characters. Yeah. That is an interesting casting choice and an in- interesting character. So hopefully they adapt it well. Mhm. My my worry is they'll try to make it too funny and I'm like he seems yeah. like a very intense character, right. kind of like Carnage, right. you know, mm-hmm. where he just really, like he's like an actual killer. So yeah. it'd be kind of hard to adapt that as like a comedic in a comedic way. But <clears throat> right. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Another thing, gosh, there's so much news I dropped the other day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so another, th- so the third Ant Man and the Wasp movie, they're officially sticking with the Ant Man and the Wasp title, but this mm-hmm. one's gonna be called Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. So they're obviously going to be doing stuff with Quantum Realm. So I don't know mm-hmm. what they're going to do with this. Right. I, I'm assuming some sort of... When is it coming out? It's coming out... They didn't say when it's coming out. No. But it, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's coming out after Doctor Strange. So right. maybe, they're do, maybe they're doing more multiverse stuff. I don't know. Yeah, the two most interesting pieces of news. Like, the, all the cast is coming back. You know, Paul right. Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas, and Michelle Pfeiffer. But then mm-hmm. Catherine Newton has been cast as Cassie Lang, which annoys me a little bit they basically recast cassie lang 
because mm-hmm. they they originally had the little girl. I don't remember her name, but she played Cassie in the first two movies. Yeah. Then they did that five year time jump, and they had a different actress who looked a lot like the other actress, mm-hmm. which I thought was kind of cool. That they got an older actress to play her in Endgame. Mm-hmm. But now they just totally threw those actresses away and got a new actress, probably because she's more famous, because I think she was in Detective Pikachu and a few other things. I'm sure that's why they brought her in, which I find mm-hmm. recast kind of annoying, especially when they're just for, like, you know, fame or whatever, you know, right, just for, right. like, to be a draw. So that kind of annoys me a little bit. But I am 100% down with Jonathan Majors as King the Conqueror. He's yeah. really good. I've seen him in a few things, like the last uh, Black Man in San Francisco. He was really good in that. Okay. And then that show that just came out on HBO, um, Lovecraft Country, he's been oh, re- okay. re- really good in that. But in King the Conqueror, I was wondering when they were going to introduce him, because right. other than, you know, like Galactus and Thanos, he's one of the main big bads of the yes. MCU, yeah. or not the MCU, but the Marvel comic universe. Mm-hmm. You know, he d- does a lot with time travel, so I'm guessing that might be kind of what they're going for with the quantum right. and everything, but I don't know. Yeah, It's an interesting movie to bring Kang in, though, Ant-Man. Mm-hmm. But then again, Amon doesn't really have any good villains, so, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, f- f- fair enough, I guess. So, we are officially getting another Fantastic Four movie. Yeah. That's let's hope, let's, let's hope this one's good. exciting things, yeah. Uh, I mean, it John, honestly is, because I've been a big fan of Fantastic Four for a while, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John Watts is, uh, from Spider-Man movies, is going to direct it. Yeah. And, uh, the, the rumor is that they were like a superhero team in the 60s, but then they got stuck in like the quantum realm or something, and they're just now bringing them back into the present. That's kind of the, the rumor on the internet. I think that would be a very good way to go, personally, because mm-hmm. I don't think it would make sense to make them just, cut, you know, get their powers now. Who cares? Like, you know, compared to the Avengers, they're, they're, they're nothing. It would make sense if they were like right. the first family mm-hmm. kind of like what they did in retconned where captain marvel was like the first avenger or whatever you right. know except that the, except this would a- actually be cool um <laughs> but but yeah i i think that works best because the fantastic four was obviously started in the 60s and i think yeah. it would be cool to kind of have retro references and it would be mm-hmm. inter- inter- interesting as well to kind of have them adapting to yeah modern day like we've seen that a lot but we, we haven't seen it as like a whole team you know right so i think that would be very cool and i think it'd be very cool too if they teamed up with spider-man at some point which may yeah. or may not happen because i know his contract is like basically for one more spider-man movie and then one mcu movie yeah but he spider-man teamed up teamed up with the fantastic four like a lot in the comics and Mm -hmm. even when he first started in the comics like the first people he went to were like the fantastic four because he wanted to join them Mm -hmm. and they were you know but then he he basically went in and started to try to beat the crap out of them like see how cool i am you know yeah and they're like what the heck yeah Yeah. so i am very interested in that and i think john watts is probably a good choice i heard somebody say like he seems like a fan of the retro comics you know he seems like because sure. of all like the 60s spider-man references right he even he even right. made a lot of the things with spider-man's suit a, a lot like the original comics like with yeah. the wings you know the, with the wings yeah with yeah. wings and stuff so i think he seems like he'd be a fan of the original fantastic four and i think he'd do them well so mm-hmm. i'm definitely yeah, for excited sure. for that it's about time yeah. some of these fox characters kind of got a new home with the mc right Right. Hopefully better than the previous movies, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, That that's all the news that came out. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Uh, check out our in, in Instagram, our Patreon. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Our, our, um, our, our podcast. Yeah. And mine. And I've, the, we're, we're, we are rebranding the Twitter page, so make sure to yeah. follow that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to add that in our... Mm-hmm. But all, all those links will be in the, the description. And thanks so much for watching. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed mm-hmm. it. Um, yeah. Yes. See you guys.